Hello everyone, my name is Katherine Beltran and I'm a lead coach here at Simplicity Ops. And today we're gonna to do a little spotlight feature on workflows. Now this happens to be one of my absolute favorite tools as this helps track your processes uh, that you do for any of your contacts within your CRM. Now we're going to look at both the Redtail CRM as well as the Wealthbox CRM to show that both offer this workflow concept. There's just some differences as well as some commonalities that they have when it comes to using and building them. Now let's start with what they have in common. Both of them have the ability to create and use templates, which to me is an extremely huge value because processes tend to be repeatable. Imagine having to rebuild a, a new account opening workflow every single time. No one has time for that. So you wanna be able to build it once and reuse it however many times you need. The next big aspect that both of these CRMs offer is the ability to link and save to a contact record. Again, the big importance when it comes to CRM is the ability to build that history that you have for those contacts and linking up those processes that you do for them is that value add when it comes to, again, linking the workflow to that contact record. You're building that history as you do those processes. The next happens to deal with more of the template building, and this is with the ability to assign multiple assignees to different steps and tasks that are within the process. Uh, very rarely do I find workflows where every single workflow, and more importantly, every single step within that workflow is assigned to the same person. Usually we share responsibilities. I might have certain tasks, my coworker Graham might have certain tasks, Kate might have certain tasks. Again, everyone has their own little bubble that we all have to be responsible for. And again, both of these CRMs offer the ability to include those different responsibilities within the workflow process. The last, and I'll say this helps visually, is that it actually shows up in multiple locations. So you don't always have to go to workflows on the left-hand side. You can go to the contact record. You can look at your dashboard or your today page. Again, it all just depends on where you find it easiest to view them, but you have at least the capability available for you to do so. So let's go ahead, let's take a quick peek at what these all look like. So when we look at Redtail, again, you have the ability to build out those templates. You can assign it to different people or teams. And again, it's going to show up on a contacts record. So it's gonna attach over here. I complete those tasks. It'll end up saving as a note on the contact record. I can also view it from the today page. If I just click on that workflow task and bam, all of my workflows are available. In a very similar fashion, Wealthbox. If I come on over here, workflows on the left, it's going to show me, shocker here, all my workflows that I have available. And if I head on up towards the right hand side, I have that manage template section. Again, very similar to what we were just looking at, all of my templates available. Again, on a similar case, I can see any workflow that's attached to a contact record. And if I look at the dashboard, I can see any workflows that have also been launched. If I scroll a little further, I'll see them here. Now, how are these different? Why, you know, what's the approach here? The next big, big difference, and I'll say, honestly, this is probably the biggest difference, is the due date approach to it. When it comes to Redtail, they'll focus in on this whole concept of target dates. So when I look at this workflow, a review meeting, the target date here would be the date of the meeting. So if I scroll on down here, here's that conference room prep, a couple days before I have the prep a couple days. Again, it's all dependent upon the meeting date. If I were to go and look at Wealthbox, it's a little bit different. If I look at this client review concept, it's actually based off of the workflow start date. So if I know I'm gonna meet with a client uh, next Thursday, I prep a couple days before, let's say I prep on Monday, I pick that workflow start date of next Monday. And again, it'll proceed as normal. The next big difference though, is that Wealthbox actually has this previous step completed option. This one gives the ability where it says, you know what, this date differs, but no matter when I complete this, I immediately have to do these items. So it doesn't actually have a date physically attached until you've completed this item here. So that's one, again, little unique difference between these. The next is actually steps versus steps and tasks. Uh, a workflow within Wealthbox has only steps. A workflow within Redtail has tasks within the steps. So it kind of breaks down a little bit further. They end up having the same function. I still have all of those different list items I need to do, but again, it just breaks it down a little differently. The next bullet here just depends on the plan that you have within Wealthbox. Both offer the ability to do uh, tasks by role, 
But if you have, I'll call it kind of like an upgraded version of Wealth Box, you actually have the ability to have more than three. You can have five or an unlimited number of roles. So again, it just depends on the plan. But if you are in a bigger office where we all have different hats that we wear, uh, maybe one of those better plans would be beneficial within the Wealth Box uh, criteria. The last isn't a huge difference, but it is just a slight difference. It's actually where you start. So again, when it comes to those templates, Within Redtail, you'd head on back over to your name in the top right, manage your account, and you'll get your manage template section. Whereas again with Wealthbox, we just came to workflows on the left hand side and clicked on manage templates. Again, still the same end goal, just a slightly different approach at the beginning. No matter what though, doesn't matter which serum we use, both of them will agree that workflows help you track everything that you are doing for your client. And workflows really are just that uh, process in along the way.